नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इंडिविजुअल्स इन वेरियस डोमेन्स so far i was talking in my previous video about the limitations that one needs to have in the how one needs to understand what really is that one really should think about in going about the subjective objective part let's like uh, be more uh, realistic and <coughs> so let's be like have a more practical approach as to what really happens for a thought to that the reason is this i wanted to actually like talk about for a simple reason that i came across a situation where i had to think personally i wanted to look into the aspect of from where that energy sources come when i say energy source am i trying to use the philosophy of the philosophy part of the life or the spiritual aspect of it what is it that i am taking what is the core concept of it ladies and gentlemen this is one of the primary aspects which most of us really need to look at maybe yes art and culture industry or the professionals or uh, uh, dancing professionals or music professionals may argue on a point that dance and music is all about entertainment and uh, getting that just and once you get that just you are well conversant or you know you are well off but really speaking things don't work that way out at the end of the day what is that one message that you are giving from the scientific front from the philosophical front from the spiritual front i will get into that subject too though this is one wing or this is one part of it which i feel every one of us should understand because once we understand this things would be more easier 
when i say more easier things do not uh, what you call uh, it wouldn't really it, uh, it wouldn't really like you know an individual would not really be in a confusion state as to why he or she is learning because at the end of the day what happens is a professional specifically in fine arts and culture if he or she is not having that distinctive vision or core goal point the aim cast goal cast his or her journey if not today tomorrow it's really going to put him in a very confused state even when you choreograph or even when you start thinking you really need to have that focal point or the focus point which needs to be understood at a deeper level that depth needs to be understood by one and all everyone let me just take this opportunity to explain you what really happens at a metaphysical level when i say metaphysical level at a higher cosmic level higher cosmos as everyone most of us come from the universe in the mother's womb however if one is asking me what is the proof that he or she comes from the universe i can't really show that proof but definitely yes it happens that is one part which needs to be understood now let's try understanding basic evolution part as we know earth's elements constitute mental mental energy psychological energy physical energy now when i talk about physical energy this is a game gives rise to intellectual energy these are the basic constituents of the earth's elements if we are talking from the existence point of view human existence point of view now this intellectual energy that we are talking about is evolving or evolved when you are in the deep sleep the 10% of your thoughts the terrains or the devil come out when you are alone understand this though hypothetically when this body sleeps it will not have 
any thoughts in the mind. But that ten percent of it, which I am talking about, that would be there, that would be arising in your conscious mind state at some or the other part. And this is what is called mental energy also, which needs to be nurtured. When I say nurturing, it has to be put in a systematic way and a schematic way. It has to have certain scheme, right? It has to have certain order of understanding. Let's try getting much further to this. Prior to the ex uh, prior to the coming to this earth, one might say soul. This when this soul is created and got into some body, it is ruled by the planetary motions, which control the mass body or the physical body. This planetary motions Though one may argue on this that uh, human consciousness is all about uh, the, what do you call uh, once you see something and all, you get that vision and all, which I was speaking about. Definitely, yes. Now, one may ask me. What is the reference of planetary motions to the mass body? Why am I talking about planetary motions? The reason is this body has that elemental factor and is governed by nine planets logically speaking and in fact one need not really go to the universe explore whatever um, explore uh, the universe for this this has to be understood it is by default. If one asks me to prove this point, it's beyond uh, human's comprehension. It is just that you have to assume that. If insanely one tries to argue and says that uh, whatever that you are talking does not make any sense, fine, that's okay. Thank you very much. But this is at a very subtler state that I am talking about. The highest cosmic energy level, the highest spiritual energy level, which can be felt by the individual, one who thinks about it. The point is, you have to understand from a very 
deeper aspect, in-depth aspect. Now, so far I was talking about this, planetary motions controlling the mass body, mass body or physical body. This physical body controls your mental body. <coughs> Sorry about that. It is how you tame, it is how you program, it is how you structure, it is how you put it in a schematic way. It could be yoga, it could be meditation, it could be dance, it could be semi-classical dance. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about <that. coughs> semi classical dance, classical music, music, any kind of activity. So you have to restructure, realign and re-engineer your whole of your body. Yoga and meditation are the best practices for non-performers. For the one who is into classical arts form, art and culture form, dance form or music or drawing, Dance is one activity that can really help them to reach this level. Now, once this level is reached, the third level is mental body controlled by the awareness. That is what is called Chetana state. <clears throat> When I say Chetana, here is where Viveka and Aviveka comes. It is how you tame your mind from your childhood. This is very important. Ladies and gentlemen, understand this. I am speaking the deeper and in-depth aspect of yoga as a whole. What really happens? What is it that is the scheme or the structure that follows with the individuals? as a whole. It's not only with yoga, even for the performing arts, fine arts and culture, even for the one <coughs> who is into acting, enacting, by empathizing into that character. Should be knowing this. For a dancer, it is the teacher's responsibility and guru's responsibility to explain this concept, how he or she can understand this. This is the one side, this is one side of the dance form, in form importance, art and culture importance. Not only dance form, but even for, for the one who are, who are doing plays, 
for the one who are acting. How does the scheme or the structure go, go about? Understand this. Thus, the point is or the takeaways from this video are understanding <coughs> the practical importance of the controlling power of the mass body or the physical body in cross-reference to the planetary motions and understanding the physical body that controls the mental body that is mind and the mental body that is controlled by the uh, by the awareness that is what is called chetana if one understands this let's not get into the deeper or depth of it the reason for telling you in short whole of the story is i don't i never wanted to confuse uh, uh, viewers who are watching my video this is just that i am giving an information basic introduction about it however to give you an example how it works it's a very big story, which I do not want to get into that. Thus, I conclude this video with a positive note. Stay blessed. Have a blissful life. Have a nice day ahead. May the Guru's grace be with you. Shri Guru Pranam.